Hey everyone, thanks for uh, watching my YouTube videos and uh, I, I dressed up just for you guys, obviously. These are my work clothes. Anyway, uh, I wanted to make another video and today's video is going to be on replacing the coupling in this. This is a uh, air conditioning vacuum pump and it's used for uh, pulling a vacuum when you do a new install or let's say you uh, replace a part, put a filter dryer in, an air conditioner, you pull a vacuum on it in order to take the moisture and impurities out of your system before you put your Freon charge in. Okay, so if you're not familiar with an air conditioning vacuum pump, it's basically a motor and then inside of here is a pump and uh, this is called a two-stage and if you were to open it up, you'd see two rotary, uh, I guess they're rotary, rotary pumps inside. So this pump is made by a company called JB Industries. So this vacuum here has a sight glass right here. And the oil that you put in there is basically mineral oil. And then you should change it every, maybe every other time that you use your pump, depending on how uh, much you use your pump. All you need is this. And this is from Target. It's called mineral oil. And uh, you'll find it like in the drug section. And basically it's 99% um, mineral oil, 99.9% .9 mineral oil. That's all you need and that retails for $1.99. Just buy some mineral oil, $1.99 from Target. A uh, little FYI, I'm not sponsored. I'm trying to get to 1,000 viewers. So thank you again for watching my video. So this is just a regular 110 volt pump and there's a switch on the back here, on off switch. Connect your gauges here. Then you've got a little lever here. Now the lever shuts off the, the vacuum. This isn't just a handle, it's also a vent right there. So if you were to tip this over, your oil would basically come out of this vent. You've got a drain right here and we'll turn it on. Now you hear it running, but it's not pumping because there's a distinct noise the pump makes. So what's going on? So here's your coupling. There's a coupling between the motor shaft and the pump. I picked up uh, a brand new coupling and I'll show it to you. And it, they sold the complete coupling, which is this right here. And I got it for uh, less than $15. There is a access port underneath. Let me see if we can get to it. There you go. And you can see right up under there that there's two splined uh, gears. And they are basically, let me see if I can get that in there. Yeah, there you go. So you got two spine gears in there and they're disconnected because the coupling broke. So I need to replace a foot. Tried to get it yesterday, but Granger didn't have in stock. So that's on my to-do list. Uh, on top, what do you have? An oil fill hole right here. And this is called a gas ballast. Uh, my guess is you unscrew that and you let the air out if you're kind of uh, bleeding this system. Uh, I didn't get a manual with this, but there you go. I'm gonna drain it, then I'm gonna flip it upside down, and I'm gonna separate the motor from the pump. Basically, this coupling goes in between here and here, and it's a rubber coupling, so it does leave for some. It does allow for some flex, and I, and that's designed into the system. They could have put a direct connection, but they didn't want to do that in case this pump seizes up. It won't break your motor. So you can see here that the stress eventually broke it. Now that could just be from normal use because it does take a lot of torque to turn that. So when you're buying this. And like I said, this is from uh, Granger's, and the part number is, it's a Granger part number, 22 John Henry 82. The uh, factory, the JB Industries part number is P as in Paul, R as in uh, Ricochet, 208. 
and this is the new unit. It's very, very sharp. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to replace the entire coupling. I mean, I bought both ends. May as well replace both ends. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. Take that off. I'm going to put the new one on in relatively the same position. There's the oil fill plug. We undo that. And what we're going to need is a funnel. Goes in there. So let's go ahead and cut our foil seal. And remember, this is just uh, mineral oil from Target. Take that foil off. And then we just start pouring. And uh, Let's see if we can get that on camera there a little bit. There we go. Let's pour. This is going to be kind of boring. That was uh, 16 fluid ounces and we got nothing right here. This is going to be kind of boring. And let's try it again. So we're going to cut the uh, safety seal out. If it took all 16 ounces of that bottle, it's probably going to take all 16 ounces of this bottle for uh, about a quart, so let's give it a shot. Yeah, I could get online and I could look up the specs and do all that, but it's just much easier to pour it in and watch the sight glass. This is gonna be kind of boring. Nothing on the uh, sight glass yet? This is gonna be kind of boring. There it is, it's coming up. Let's stop. And um, this is where it's supposed to be. So it's about, 24 ounces is about what this thing's going to take, maybe a little bit more. So let's stop there. We're almost halfway up on the side glass. And we're, yeah, we're about uh, 24 ounces. Let's check this out. Balancing that going on there. Let's put our cap on and give her a test with the new coupling. There we go. Sounds wonderful. So we're good to go. That's it for this video. I hope you learned something. I hope it was helpful. Uh, comment, subscribe, like, share. Do all that good stuff, please. Thank you for watching How To Heaven.